So now, I think it is safe to uh, CD into SDR trunk. Got to spell it right. LS. And I think we can take a stab at running this baby. Copy. Oh, actually, first thing I want to do is... Uh, All right, my SDR is working. Let's see here, up oh, there's my it recognized the RTL. Okay, so we've got analog. What if? What if I go to channel and add a new channel? So this is my P25 channel. And for source, and then for the decoder, I'm going to go to P25, and that is going to be a simulcast LSM and then I can hit save and I have to I'm going to take this channel here in enable it all right let's go back to the other channel and disable it and come to this channel and enable it and then if I go to now playing let's see what happens they have the, the gate closed or something? Is that why traffic's not closed? Hey, Randy, go ahead. They're around on a merchant with a 42-year-old male. Had gastric bypass surgery in April. Um, complained of right ankle pain. Been going on for about a week now. So they say it got worse tonight. Also has a history of gout. Um, patients all by the are within normal limit, and we have uh, too many PA. Okay, so let me turn this down. And if we go out of the program, here's what you really want to see is this right here JMBE Audio Conversion Library successfully loaded P25 audio will be available. So once you see that, you know you're good to go. And if we go back into the so now with just one dongle uh, we can do p25 digital trunking I turned it down but consciousness lacerations to the right side of the scalp uh, bleeding is controlled he is on blood thinners but it is controlled at this time vitals are stable and will be at your facility in about 10 minutes Okay, so we have successfully set up uh, SDR trunk in a Linux environment uh, with the P25 uh, JMBE decoder. Everything's up and running. Um, I think I'm going to cut it here and do a separate video on uh, using SDR trunk. Well, this is Steve signing off. I hope you found the videos worthwhile. I hope you were able to get through the installation uh, with as little uh, hiccups as possible. I know my first go at this was uh, pretty long, so if I can save other people um, time and energy and most of all frustration, perhaps you won't throw your keyboard across the room as you're trying to do this install. All right, a million thanks to Denny for um, creating this awesome application and everybody else who uh, had a hand in it. I'll be making another video or three. Uh, as it pertains to the use of the software, but I think uh, the hard part is definitely behind us. The rest of it is uh, just a whole bunch of fun as this, uh, this application is uh, pretty awesome. All right, I'm Steve signing off. I will see you in the next video. See ya.